What's up and welcome to today's video. I'm really excited. I'm gonna be showing you how to create this awesome effect in Photoshop. In this series, I'm gonna be looking at lots of different ways that you can use Photoshop to create cool text effects, uh, imagery, social media posts, what have you. Uh, and so I'm really excited. I wanna encourage you before we get going, uh, I always like to start my videos with a bit of an encouragement, but the thing to make note of today is that in the design world, especially in the social media world, all of it, it can feel like you're just a small fish in a really big sea. And I think for me, sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Like you see so much great work. It's like, I can never add up to that. Like, what do I have to contribute? And I just want to encourage you that, that I really do believe that every single person has something unique creatively to contribute and bring that no one else can bring. And so even when it feels overwhelming and you feel like, man, everyone's just so great. I'm just trying to get by. I, I just, it's easy to compare, right? Uh, I just want to remind you that you have something that, that you bring creatively that's unique that no one in the world can bring. And so keep creating and keep developing new things because you have something that no one else does. And so with that in mind, we're going to jump into the video. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. If you want, go ahead and download the files in the description below, as always, and I'm gonna jump right into it. So we've got this text layer that I'm gonna show here, and I've just put in some random text, dust in the wind seems dramatic and appropriate for what we'll be doing. Uh, if you don't have this font, that shouldn't be a problem because this is a font called Abolition, which is an Adobe font. It comes with Creative Cloud, so as long as you have Creative Cloud, which you should, I would assume, um, then whenever you bring in this file, you can activate this font and you should have it as well. You can also use any font you want, totally up to you, and this is what I'm going with. All right, so we're gonna start off with our, with our type in white. And so what we're gonna do, because I wanna create this at a little bit of a slant to make it more interesting, I'm gonna hold, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on my shape and I'm gonna transform it. And so that could be clicking any of these corners over here. Also, if you're not seeing the transform options, just click on show transform controls up there. So I'll click on it and then I'm gonna hold command and I'm gonna find this right side. And if I hold command, then I can, I can uh, kind of shear it any way I want. If I hold shift, it'll lock me into my proportions and I'll get it just about like that. Okay, it looks pretty good. What I'll do is I'm gonna do Command A to select the whole artboard and then I'm gonna center it. Great, and maybe bring it down in size just a little bit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some duplicates of this. So the way to do that is to right click and duplicate the layer. Just click okay. All right, and so I always have, I keep the text layer active in the background because I don't wanna lose the text if I need to go back and edit anything. So, but I'll hide that for now. And this layer, we're going to do Shift Command R, which I think that's one of my custom shortcuts, but the other way to do that is right click and then rasterize the type right here. All right, so rasterizing the type. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our blending mode to dissolve. And so dissolve is really cool and I'm gonna explain in a minute what it does. So what we're gonna do is if you zoom in here, you'll see that um, no longer are the lines nice and sharp like they would be with normal, but dissolve, actually what it does is it, it doesn't allow for any opacity that's like, you know, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. Basically dissolve, it dissolves the opacity across pixels, which you'll see whenever we start working with this. So what we're gonna do to create this effect is I'm gonna use the smudge tool over here. If you don't see this, hold on under here, um, hold under blur tool and go to smudge. And what I can do is I can scale this guy up. So make my size around 250 uh, and hardness, I want it to be zero. And so now what I do, if I, if I click and grab, it's gonna drag my text around and you see how it's creating this like fuzzy effects. It's because dissolve is making only the pixels, like basically there's no, there's no light or dark. It's just which pixels the text is visible on. Um, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but just go with it for now. So you can do whatever you want. You can kind of just move these around. I would try not to distort it too drastically, uh, but just kind of get something to where you feel like there's some motion happening with your type, um, which I think is gonna look really cool. Okay. Starting to look good. Yeah, I kind of like that. And again, there's no right or wrong way. All right, so what we'll do now is, um, I think I like it more like that. More like this, either way. Okay, so now we have it to where we have this cool effect to where it seems like the, uh, the type is kind of dusting apart or like it's being blown by a strong wind. And so we're gonna enhance that a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we are going to erase parts of this. And so you're gonna use E, which is your eraser. And same thing, we wanna make sure that our size is pretty big and our hardness is at zero. 
And then, in, so up here is your opacity. If it's at 100%, it'll erase things completely, which is not exactly what we wanna do. So I would turn it down to 50, maybe, or even a little bit less. And so now what we can do is I can just come on the edges here and I can just tap it lightly. And what it does is it starts to erase parts of this, which in effect makes it look like the text is really fading um, with, the, with the dust. So see how that's looking pretty solid? And I'm just tapping here in different spots. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this layer again. So we'll duplicate. And then the layer that's underneath, can drag it underneath. We're gonna double click on the side and do a layer style. So we'll do a color overlay here. Um, let's do this. Let's put it on top first. So color overlay, and I'm gonna overlay it just kind of this like, I guess kind of gold color. It's gonna be a really subtle effect we're gonna add to enhance what's happening here. We are gonna also go to our blending options and make sure it says blend interior effects as a group. That's important. Click okay. As long as it's still set on dissolve, you should be good. And we're gonna drag it underneath. So you won't see anything here, but we're gonna go back to our smudge tool and we're just gonna bring some of these out a little bit more. And adding the second color just kind of increases our effect and enhances the idea of that dust going everywhere. So now what we can do is if we wanna bring the opacity down in this layer, I'm gonna zoom in. So I bring the opacity down to let's say 50. See how it makes, the, it makes less dots. And so you can choose how much you want. Um, I would say probably around 50. And there we go. So it just kind of helps uh, increase our effect. And the last thing we're gonna do is, so remember as the, the opacity gets lower, the amount of dots gets lower as well. So I don't wanna go that low, but what I wanna do is because in some spots, this is completely solid and I want it to feel like it's, it's a little more porous or it has these holes within it to make it feel more like dust. And so if I simply click and you can, for opacity, you can use this little spot here to scale down. You can type in here or a shortcut that's really helpful is you just type in the keys, just type in a number. So I'm gonna type nine zero, which is 90 and it'll drop my opacity to 90 or I could type nine five, which is 95 which is probably what I'll stick with. So it's just enough to where my text doesn't feel so solid that it kind of breaks the illusion, um, but it, it kind of enhances this dust in the wind feel. And so that's how you create this cool text effect. The one thing to note here is that you can't go back in and edit the text, right? So that's why we had made this duplicate up here. So if I hide our other layers, if you wanted to say anything else, you know, like, I don't know, dust in the air, okay, whatever. Then you're gonna go through that same process of duplicating the layers um, and doing these same effects again to get your new effect. Because whenever we rasterize it, which is what we did to make all these cool effects by using the smudge tool, you can no longer edit the text. So that is how you create this cool dust in the wind um, dissolve effect. And so this is all using this dissolve opacity style for the layer. And it's pretty cool, all the things you can do with it. So. If you wanna spruce up a design, you wanna do something unique and interesting and add some cool textures so simply, try that dissolve opacity and see what you do with it. Play around and you'll probably find something cool. But that is it for this video. Thanks for watching.